if I ask you to draw a clock that shows 2.30, how long do you think it will take you? It took me less than 30 seconds to accomplish this task. A patient with early Alzheimer's drew the time wrong, and the patient with the severe Alzheimer's couldn't even remember what the task was. 30 seconds. Alzheimer's patients couldn't hold their memories for just 30 seconds. Imagine how it's like for them to perform simple daily tasks, like buying groceries or finding a way home. What about all the profound moments in their lives that they cherish the most? Like their 3MT talks, like the time they got their degrees, got married, hold their babies for the first time. All those profound memories that define who they are are torn apart by Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's disease, short for AD, is deadly and is the most common cause of dementia in the elderly, meaning their brains lost the ability to deal with daily life activities and store memories. More than 40 million people worldwide are living with AD, and this number keeps climbing up and we don't have a single effective treatment. So what causes all the memories to fade away in AD? Memories are encoded in the network of healthy neuron cells in the brain. In AD, however, there are toxic proteins called A-beta accumulating and causing damage to them. Imagine that every neuron has an internal lifespan clock. A-beta acts as a toxic poison that accelerates the countdown to their lives by tearing apart their internal organs. Is there a way to stop this? My research focuses on a mediator of this process called HRAS. HRAS functions as a molecular switch in neurons and may control the actions of a beta onto the neurons. So just like a clock that has a safety switch and guards any changes to the clock, a beta needs to turn on the molecular switch HRAS first before it can mess up time of their lifespans. My research believes that turning off this molecular switch will prevent the damaging effects of A-beta onto the neurons and improve their health. With healthier neurons, we can hold on to our precious memories longer. Alzheimer's disease messes up our time, but we can take control over our internal clocks by turning off a molecular switch. But we need to race against the time and act really fast because the clock is still ticking. Thank you.